All right, picture this. You're sitting in class, maybe half listening to your teacher, when suddenly the ground starts shaking. Desks rattle, windows tremble, and everyone's freaking out. But why does that happen? Why do earthquakes even exist? Let's break it down. First things first, our planet isn't just one big solid ball. Earth's outer shell, the crust, is actually made up of giant puzzle pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are always moving, but super slowly. Think fingernail speed. Most of the time, you don't even notice. But sometimes, these plates get stuck on each other. Pressure builds up over years, decades, sometimes even centuries until, bam, it all releases at once. That's an earthquake. Now, where do these plates get stuck? Usually along lines called faults. Imagine two giant blocks of stone grinding past each other. They want to move, but friction is holding them back. When the force gets strong enough to overcome the friction, the plates suddenly slip. That's the jolt you feel in an earthquake. And the spot underground where it starts? That's called the focus. The point above it on the surface? That's the epicenter, basically ground zero for all the action. But wait, why do these plates move at all? Well, deep inside the earth, it's really hot. Like, melt your face off hot. This heat causes the rock to flow. Kind of like how honey moves when you warm it up. That movement creates currents that push and pull the plates around like bumper cars at a carnival. Sometimes earthquakes are tiny, you might not even notice them. Other times, they're massive, shaking entire cities and causing a ton of damage. The strength of an earthquake depends on how much energy gets released. Scientists measure that with something called the Richter scale. The higher the number, the more powerful the quake. Here's something wild. Earthquakes don't just happen on land, they can happen under the ocean too. When they do, they can trigger tsunamis, sending huge waves crashing onto shorelines miles away. That's another reason why scientists are always watching, using seismographs to track even the smallest shakes around the world. So next time you feel the ground vibrate, remember, it's the Earth's tectonic plates letting off steam after building up stress for ages. It's like our planet's way of reminding us that it's alive and kicking beneath our feet. Stay curious, stay safe, and maybe don't build your house right on a fault line. Thanks for tuning in, and if you learned something new, hit that like button and subscribe for more science that'll shake up your world.